Hi, and welcome to my YouTube. This iconic weapon is almost 70 years old. Although it's still very popular in the Ashen Flix, it's starting to show its age in the new millennia. What made it iconic is also its Achilles heel. One of the problem is its compactness. There's just no room for the left hand to hold on to. Can't go too high because the charging handle is gonna clip your fingers. So most end up grabbing the magazine, which in my opinion, causes some of the fail to feed issues. The pistol grip is not very ergonomics. It's too vertical, and that is because of the rate reducer inside. But since this is a semi, no need for a rate reducer, I'm gonna show you how to solve these two issues by installing Magpul grips. So let's begin. Okay, to solve the first issue of the front end, you need to buy yourself one of these uh, barrel clamps, 30 millimeters, and you have seen them before. They're on eBay for about $3 US. Not very expensive. However, 30 millimeters is a bit too big, so you have to cut these thin strips from a uh, beer can or pop can and uh, rough the surface out using a wire brush on a drill. If it's too smooth, it's going to start rotate. Now, you've seen this used by airsoft people, and they usually mount it like this for their red dots. Now, it's fine if you are using it for airsoft, but it's not so fine if you're going to shoot real ammo because your, your lens is way too close to the muzzle. So I would not recommend using this way for your red dot. So I would just use it for a rail for the grips. So I'll mount it this way. Okay, here I'll put these uh, shims in. I cut three of them. Like that, fits right in there, and then slide them over, make sure it's center, and then tighten these four screws. Make sure you rough out the, those shims, otherwise this, this barrel clamp rail tend to rotate. Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's mounted on your VZ61. The next thing you do is get a Magpul RVG vertical grip and There. Now you have a place to hold on to. You don't have to hold on to the magazine. There. Lots of room to, uh, doesn't hinder the magazine at all. Okay, the next thing is to change the pistol grip into a Magpul pistol grip. It's an, actually here's the box. It's an MOE AK plus grip. Plus means it's, it's rubberized. To remove this, quite simple. Remove the bottom cap. and the pistol grip slides out. The original pistol grip. And that is your pistol grip tube. This is a uh, CSA uh, VZ61, so it doesn't have even no part of the rate reducer here. So you have to remove this tube, and it's quite simple. All you need is a wrench, 
and you just unscrew it. Now, this trigger guard also acts like a locking clip. You see this thing? That locks onto the uh, pistol uh, grip tube. And it's actually pretty loose. Now, when I install the new uh, Magpul grip, I'll put a dab of uh, glue underneath so it would stay lower. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Now let me open this up and show you what I have to do on the inside. Okay, right. to remove that. Okay, this is what it looks like in the back when the tube is removed. You can see my finger. Okay. To secure this pistol grip, you need to get a screw like this from Home Depot or from Ikea and a nut like this and then you need to take off a little bit on the other side of the top of the nut and the reason why is you need to fit it between these two pillar and the back of the uh, receiver like this okay you need to go in between there and so you just drop it in okay see that and this is what it looks like when it protrudes from the bottom okay so now I'm going to install the pistol grip now there's a washer inside if you remember I'm going to drop this in <clears throat> make sure it's comes out and then I'm going to have to line that up and then I'm going to start turning there note the angle of the pistol grip the Magpul pistol grip perfect angle really good fit it's a little bit long towards the back but other than that look at this angle it's almost meant to be straight down and then a curve with the uh, trigger guard so this is a perfect fit perfect angle it feels really comfortable in the hand and with a painted black magazine this just looks awesome oh one more thing Forgot to put the uh, cover back. Yeah, there you are. Now it's perfect. Thank you for joining me, and please subscribe.